Okay, now, Princess William and Harry made a somewhat joint appearance at a Princess Diana memorial event last night. Yes, the siblings pay tribute to their late mother from separate sides of the Atlantic, with William attending the Diana Legacy Award event in London in person, while Harry joined via video call after his brother left the ceremony. Let's remind ourselves of what he had to say. Every single day that you're working on these things, you don't even know the impact that it's making, right? You don't know that when you meet people and you have those interactions that you may have potentially changed their day, changed their outlook, changed their perspective, given them a little bit more hope and hopefully inspired them to go off and do something, uh, something similar. In the studio with us now, the Mail on Sunday's editor-at-large, Charlotte Griffith. Charlotte, thank you so much for your time. That event yesterday, in its essence, something that both of the princes care deeply about, you know, what was it trying to achieve? Well, it was trying to achieve recognising young people, 25 years of this foundation, and uh, William gave a really good speech, and it just made me think that in times it could have recognised their brotherly love, it could have recognised how they come together and mm. remember their mother. You know, if, if it was a different era, different, if all the stuff that we know about hadn't happened, it would have been those two on stage recognising the important work that people do together, and I'm afraid the narrative wouldn't, wouldn't be all about, oh, look, they're not in the same room, which I'm yeah. afraid it is about now, yeah. Yeah, and the fact that they neither one acknowledged the other, extremely sad and extremely strange, and as you say, that has overshadowed everything else. It has a bit. I mean, easy... The fact that Harry's in Montecito <laughs> makes it easier to sort of not acknowledge him. Uh, there was that awkward time, do you remember when they unveiled a statue of their mother mm. and they had their backs to each other? That was much more awkward because they were sort of in the same park. in Hyde park, park, wasn't it, I think? In yeah. Hyde Park. Yeah. And uh, so at least there was some separation. And in fact, it was very much on purpose se separation is what we're being told. So uh, William got off the stage, basically <coughs> left the whole event. <laughs> and, uh, and then Harry came on. Quite late, it was about midnight UK time. Harry came on and then had a conversa uh, conversation with via video link with some of the people that had won this award. That is late. I mean, yeah. Prince William has had, a, a I think it's fair to say, a pretty terrible, terrible week. We don't actually yeah. know his motivations for why he left early. It sounds like it was really quite late. Aren't we reading yeah. too much into this? I don't think he left early. I think he did the speech and then there was a dinner and then he left because it was getting late and mm. a normal time to leave. But it's, it, so it's not that he had a motivation to leave early, but I thought the motivation of Harry coming on after that, <laughs> midnight UK time, was quite interesting. Mm. And, you know, some of those people having dinner might have been tired and wanting to go to bed and instead they then had to have a sort of 40-minute video call with Prince Harry at midnight. Well, well I, I, You know, they could have done it earlier, I suppose. I saw both speeches and I have to say, I thought, just my personal opinion, I thought William was a bit boring, a bit tired, a bit slow. And he's, maybe he is ex exhausted after the, the week he's had. Yeah. Whereas Harry seemed much more vibrant. He seemed more personable. Uh, let, let's, let's have a look at, at William, some of what William was saying. This evening's Legacy Award is particularly special as it marks the 25th anniversary year of the Diana Award, a charity set up to reflect my mother's belief that young people can change the world. That legacy is something that both Catherine and I sought to focus on through our work, as have the 50,000 young people who have received the Diana Award over the past 25 years. I suppose, in a way, it shows um, where they're both at. William, the future king, has got a well-written, um, but obviously not rehearsed, a very stifled speech, mm. hitting all the right notes, whereas Harry comes on and kind of free balls and just speaks from the heart. Yeah, that sums up their entire dynamic, doesn't it? He's the future king, he's there to wear a dicky bow, be very smart, be formal, say all the right things, dropped in the, the name Catherine there, mm. thought it was very, very clever to do that. And, and then Harry comes on, he's got his elbow on the table and he's saying right at the end of every sentence, I hate <laughs> is an Americanism, and he never used to do that. Uh, <laughs> And he's kind of in his informal Zoom in the sitting room and just, like, <laughs> casual kicking back by the fire, like in Montecito. <laughs> and, but that's their dynamic. And, and actually, if they were still pals, they could really play, play off that. And they used to do that. They used to be, you know, Harry's the, the fun, jokey one, mm -hmm. William was the sensible one, and that's fine. And that's how many a comedy duo since the dawn of comedy mm. has worked really well, the foil and the, and and the it, straight and man. And it suits their future roles, of course. Yeah. In terms of Harry, we're, we're learning a little bit more. He said, like, here's at home kick back. Yeah. Um, Megan has sort of stepped her toe again into this sort of lifestyle brand that she's teased at yesterday. What yes. have we learned? It's sort of, sort of like 
recipes, cookware, napkin rings, marmalade. Yes, it's all to... <laughs> well, this is very interesting because it's it was launched to coincide with a new Netflix uh, cooking cookery series, show. Yeah. But I haven't seen the cookery show today. I don't know if you have. No. So actually, it didn't launch at the same time as the cookery show. And so some people online were saying, well, how come you launched it a matter of minutes before William got on stage and made a speech over in London, given oh. that is the whole point really is... Is she doing that? Trying to deliberately tactical? overshadow them? I, don't, I, 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 I think it probably could be. I really do because everything is it, it, with Meghan and, and Harry is planned to, to within an inch of its life for maximum impact and look there she is in her ball gown just walking around in her hallway um, and, and look we're, we're talking about it right now so you know this segment might have been all about William's work but instead it's kind of a lot about Harry and a lot about Meghan oh, so she's, if she's being a PR on. mastermind so saying, I'm she, partly to blame for this <laughs> you, no, oh, no. No. but of course we can't you know when a new thing happens with Meghan and Harry we talk about it it's interesting and so she probably thought this through. Well, on a positive spin, <laughs> isn't it good that Harry and William are at least on the same bill for a change? Yes, I wouldn't read too much into that. I like your optimism. <laughs> um, I suppose it is something. I mean, they couldn't not be because they both have a 50% share of ownership over their mother's legacy, mm. and this is a legacy award. And, you know, it might be that in his heart of hearts, William would rather... Harry wasn't involved in that event, but what can he do? I mean, it's, it's Harry's mother too, and this is a huge narrative for Harry. She's my mother too. I have every right to get involved in things to do with my mother. I'm also a Prince of England. You know, that's one of his big gripes about being the spare. So I suppose it'd be nice if this time next year we were talking about how they were in the same room together. Maybe, maybe if we're being really charitable, <laughs> it's the beginning <laughs> of a new era for them. I think it I'm is. I'm a bit sceptical, I'm afraid. I I'm think sorry. you're wrong, Charlotte, but thank you anyway. <laughs> Okay. Charlotte Griffiths from The Mail on Sunday.